Before the Huskies even play a Final Four game in Indianapolis, they made history in Bridgeport as they make it to their ninth straight Final Four, win their 22nd straight NCAA tournament game, and become the first three-peat champion to even have a shot in the Final Four with an 86-65 win over Texas. You're playing against a really good team that really tested us at both ends of the floor and it forced our our best players to play great. Shot clock down to seven. Cross court, Stewart lifts the three and sticks it. That's exactly what you need at this time in the tournament. You don't you don't want to be going um, to the final four thinking that games are easy. We've seen so many games over by this point in the game, including the matchup with Texas in the Sweet 16 in Albany a season ago. So you can't ask for any better. No question. Williams on the back door will lay that one up and in. Moved brilliantly there by UConn. They just run such good offense, Dave. Ball movement, player movement, find the open shooter, play on selfishly. Um, well, I think right now our team basketball we're playing right now is is really good and we're at probably the top of our game this season so I think if we continue to do what we're doing um, hopefully things will go well um, as the games go on but we, when we were selling Brittany out there we brought it in together and said we're not done yet this is all fun and everything we're gonna enjoy this now but we know that next week we gotta be ready to go. We found our tempo uh, it took a minute obviously every start of the game is kind of chaotic when you're trying to feel it out um, but we found our tempo and we just slowed down and started to pick the defense apart um, and it was pretty fun to watch. For UConn, tucked straight on. Yes! And now the lead is back up to 20 for the Huskies. This is a big part of us reaching our goal, and you know, we have to go to the Final Four to do that. So I think that, you know, as a team, we're just really excited to be able to go and, you know, enjoy the Final Four and then hopefully win two games. Yeah, and I think uh, when you get to this point in this tournament, when everything is X's and O's, everybody's seeing everybody's tendencies and those kind of things. So it's making plays and mentally being there, ready to go every single game. And I think we do a really good job of being prepared and focused when we come out. They are making this game better. I think when you're the standard bearer, you never have anything to apologize for. Jefferson makes the basket. I think it's just our experience now. You know, we've, we've come in behind a lot of great players that have showed us the way to do things. And so when it becomes time like this in big games, we know that we have to step up and show the younger guys how to do it. Higgs, airborne, blocked by Stewart. And she'll spin away from that with a 20-point lead. The fans here have done so much for us. And to be able to, to play our regional game here in Connecticut, we're, we're really fortunate so they, they're able to, to come and, you know, see us play one last time because uh, our fans are like no other. Up next for the Huskies, a Final Four date with the Beavers of Oregon State making their first ever trip to the Final Four, where Mariah Jefferson needs two assists to pass Diana Tarazi for number one on the all-time assist list. From Bridgeport, I'm Bob Joyce for Huskies All Access.